there was a phase in my career, very early on in my career, when I spent a lot of time as a professional trainer in front of a lot of groups across the country. And so learned a lot about what not to do, often the hard way, and what worked well. And over the years, people have said, well, Phil, you now run a training company, so what are the components of a great training program? Well, of course, I could happily go to a flip chart and list off many. We're an experiential learning company, so clearly, I think great training includes experiential learning. I think it has to be relevant, and I could put a lot of things on that list. But if I were to select just one thing to really emphasize, I would say a great training program begins with input from the people who are managing those who will be taking the program. If I run a training program for a group of participants and they go back on the job and their immediate supervisors do not feel that that program is relevant or practical or valuable, they will not support it. But if I go to them in advance and say, I am about to create a training program that your folks will be going through, what do you feel will give you the greatest value when they come from the class and I get their input and I listen to them, kind of as an advisory group, if you will, and I then build the program around that input, then I know the program is relevant and practical, and most importantly, it will be supported by the line manager back on the job. And that will give me a great training program.